Hey guys, what's up? This is Chetan for Phone Radar, and this is the Motorola Droid Turbo, one of the best smartphones uh, from Motorola till date because you get to see one of the latest uh, processors in this. And for the screen size of 5.2 inches, what the, this device has got, it comes with a QHD resolution that's 2560 into 1440 pixels of resolution, and the Snapdragon 805, the 2.7 GHz quad core processor in this. So this is the Verizon uh, device but uh, it's factory unlocked so uh, we could use the Indian SIM card in this and uh, use it very easily with the, the data network connectivity. So this is what is available for about uh, a price of uh, $900 and uh, this one is the blue 32GB but it's not called blue it's the ballistic nylon. So the ballistic nylon is uh, the back panel which is where Motorola has always been doing some awesome stuff. For example, the Moto X, the first Moto X had come with the um, bamboo and such variants and that is what had uh, continued on to the Moto X second gen that came in 2014 and now this one, the Droid Turbo has two variants, the first one, the Ballistic Nylon is one we are using. We already unpacked this device and uh, used the uh, smartphone for about uh, a couple of weeks but still the unboxing is here. So out of the package, this is uh, what it contains. It contains a Droid Turbo, the 4G LTE SIM which is pre-installed from Verizon and there's a wall of USB turbo charger so that's again something where this uh, smartphone has got the name. It's a turbo charger with th for the 3900 mAh battery and the quick uh, reference guide and uh, the warranty voucher. So let's unbox this smartphone and uh, check out the package contents. So first of all this is the smartphone, the Droid Turbo. And uh, we'll talk about this later on, about this uh, special back uh, panel of this. So keeping that aside. Next in the package is this uh, get to know your phone. And uh, that comes in again a few other languages. And uh, the global support information and calling card. The consumer information about uh, radio frequency. And uh, consumer information again with the uh, warranty information. So a lot of uh, booklets that would be again useful for some time using it for the first time. And this is uh, the important part. That's the turbo charger from Motorola. This is what uh, supposedly gives about 50% uh, of charge in 30 minutes. So that is good when you have uh, low power on your smartphone and rushing out and wanted some quick charge to be happening there. And this is the micro USB cable which can be used for both connecting to the computer for uh, data syncing as well as uh, along with the turbo charger for charging the smartphone. So a very large packaging and what you get is this all free space in the package so keeping all this aside now let's talk about uh, the actual smartphone that's the droid turbo so this is the droid turbo smartphone with the 5.2 inch uh, quad hd display it's the 2k resolution 2560 into 1440 pixels and the camera combination here isn't perfect again because we would again tell that uh, the 20.7 megapixel camera on the back is perfect but still motorola has done the same mistake by including a 2 megapixel camera which is not really great in uh, taking selfies or even in video calls and for a smartphone with such pricing and some powerful uh, specifications you would have expected a better camera than this on the front but it's a 2 megapixel camera nevertheless and uh, on the back these are the two LED flashlights around the 20.7 megapixel camera and there's no ring flash that you had seen on the Moto X 2014 and the interesting part is here the ballistic nylon and this is not something uh, like a plastic panel or something it's the actual nylon thread that is uh, threaded here with this pattern which although looks uh, a bit of uh, different for more, some of the users or uh, it won't even feel good but it, it actually gives you a very premium feel while holding the smartphone and there's some friction kind of thing so it doesn't slip off uh, easily from your hand and at the bottom there's this uh, droid uh, branding the back cover is a, isn't removable, it's fixed there, a unibody design and on the side you get to see this buttons for uh, power as well as the volume rocker and uh, if you pull out this volume rocker button you would find the slot for the sim cards. So it's not hard to pull it out, you just have to insert a uh, fingernail here or any pin and pull this one out so the sim card slot comes out. And in the bottom there's this uh, micro USB port and uh, on the left there's nothing and in the top there's a 3.5mm headset jack. So that's it uh, with the specifications or the hardware aspect. There's also the secondary mic just beside the camera on the back and the primary microphone is on the front. So on the front there, there are these navigation buttons which aren't a part of the screen. So Motorola has used some space and that is actually uh, 
worthy because uh, for this size you are getting a 3900 mAh battery which is uh, kind of uh, very useful so that along with the turbo charging is an icing on the cake because uh, all the powerful battery which has been giving us almost two days of usage on a single charge along with the uh, turbo charger which, which can uh, charge the battery again in a quick way so getting into the interface it's the android 4.4.4 .4 kitkat and we are waiting for the lollipop update on this because it's just the moto x second gen that has uh, got the 5.0 lollipop update if you talk about the top end smartphones from motola so it's android kitkat and uh, you get to see some of uh, those features which were there in the moto x second gen already uh, one of them could be this uh, active display because just few wave your hand over this uh, sensors on the front it would activate the display and then getting into this uh, interface you can see the parallax effect where uh, the display has this wallpaper moving along with your uh, shake we have our own applications installed in this but if we talk about the pre-installed apps these are the few ones uh, such as the google's uh, play services applications and apart from that this moto application which takes care of uh, most of the stuff uh, like uh, having your voice and uh, voice commands and uh, replying to that there's this uh, migrate your stuff option if you if at all you're migrating from uh, some other smartphone to the motorola Dark turbo and uh, a few other apps from this so this is about the pre-installed applications and uh, it's the same android 4.4.4 uh, interface that you see on the motorola smartphones it's almost uh, the stock interface but a bit of a modification from motorola's own side so this is about the interface now talking about the camera Okay, once again, the camera combination is 20.7 megapixel on the back and 2 megapixel on the front. 2 megapixel that we tried on uh, various uh, conditions that's uh, bright light and low light. It isn't that good anywhere because you can uh, compare this with the smartphones uh, in the budget range having almost the same cameras. So there's no real big tweaks from Motorola for uh, the front facing camera even on the software side. So you don't expect uh, a lot from it. So this is the back camera and the interface of uh, the back camera here. You get uh, the options hidden and uh, a single finger uh, swiping up and down would uh, zoom, in, uh, zoom in and zoom out uh, the options and swiping uh, from the left corner to the right would uh, bring you out uh, a few options such as uh, the video recording which could be up to 4K resolution and there's also slow-mo option given here. There's panorama capture uh, available and uh, these are the flash options and there's this HDR mode. So these are the options in the camera application. Now taking a quick sample, capture sample. So the capture speed is quite good, but uh, it's always uh, not that easy in uh, focusing. You'll have to focus it once or twice. And that has always been an issue with the Motorola smartphones. But uh, one good thing about uh, this is that you can activate the camera by just uh, shaking your hands, even when the screen is turned off. And also it is quite good with this uh, uh, tap to capture the shutter gets activated by just tapping on the screen so those are the two good things about the camera application but uh, the final capture quality isn't one of the best uh, out there because these are controlled light conditions and uh, still uh, there's no perfect uh, color combination seen not just with this photo because this is these are plain colors but even with the colors uh, colored photos the saturation levels are not really great and what you expect from a 20.7 megapixel camera is not seen here so that's again a case where uh, the megapixel count is not really important so this was the motorola's uh, droid turbo smartphone a uh, very powerful one we have been using this so the review would be out too very soon and we'd be letting you know what we really liked and what we didn't like about this smartphone and compare this with uh, some particular other devices uh, having a similar power such as the galaxy note 4 because that too is priced quite high and is a device having the same snapdragon 805 chipset so this was the unboxing and the hands-on with the motorola droid turbo smartphone do like this video and share it and uh, subscribe to phone data for more videos thank you